<laughs> it's here we're unboxing this. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isada's Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. In today's video, we're unboxing and checking out the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. This pink beauty just came in and I'm pretty stoked to test it out as I wait for my pink Z Flip 3. That's still coming. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing it, seeing what this thing can do and just how it fits. Let's go. Pretty excited about this one. I have the Galaxy Watch 4 in pink. We have that Galaxy Watch 4 branding on the side. Some details, so this has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, and this is the 40 millimeter version with a 20 millimeter standard strap. I like that on the back here, you can sort of measure your wrist. So the maximum is 65 millimeters, minimum is 45 millimeters. I think my wrist will do okay. Ooh, that's so cute! So we have the watch. Let's set that aside and see what else is in the box. Watch lang. What's going on here? Is it just the watch? Oh, okay. Ta-da! <laughs> this is the first time I'm actually unboxing a Samsung watch. So I thought it was here, but it's under here. Quick start guide. Charging port. And that is it so we have the watch here and it's looking very very good straps are silicone it's a light pink slash almost cream color that's a sleek watch and even the sides here are rose gold details on the watch strap are also rose gold i like that so like we saw earlier this is a 20 millimeter strap and these are interchangeable and those are the sensors on the back there two buttons on the side as well right let's set this baby up in the meantime a montage <music> Setting up the watch was relatively easy. Once you power it on, your Samsung phone will detect that there's a watch, tap to connect, and you're basically good to go. All I really needed to do was sign up to my accounts and then wait for it to boot up. You also have the option to restore from an old phone and you're all set. Here we go, everything is connected and now you can see your battery levels. From here, you can change your watch faces. Ooh, there's an AR emoji watch face. That's cute. And you can make your own character. There is also, and I'm super excited about this, Bitmoji watch faces. If you watched any of my previous Fitbit videos, you'd know that I love this watch face. So I'm super stoked to see it on a Samsung wearable. I mean, we have a lot of other choices here, but we'll check that out later. You have apps on here, so you have app settings as well. And then you have tiles, so you can reorder the tiles on your watch. And then what we have here, your quick panel can be customized as well. From here, you can also do your watch settings, find my watch, tips, and then you have your Google Play Store. And if you tap up here, it'll show you all the wearables that you have connected. Right, let's put on the watch for the first time. So I have really teeny wrists, as you guys can see. Ah, just right. So it's still a little bit loose. As you can see, it's not completely tight but this is just how i like my watches so that my wrist can breathe it looks good it's not too big it's just right it's not bulky at all let's do that watch tour oh swipe down for a quick panel swipe up to go to the watch face for apps swipe up from the bottom edge oh there we go swipe down to go back to the watch face for a notification swipe right Tap to open, swipe right, oh no no, swipe right, swipe left to go back. Swipe right for the tiles, home key to go to the watch face, and that's it. Oh, the dot means I have a notification to reorder the apps, touch and hold and drag an app icon. Oh, gotcha, okay. So as you can see, there's no physical bezel, but see? It still does that rotating bezel thing, which 
Actually, I like this better, I think. It just feels like the screen is uninterrupted, but I still get that rotating bezel functionality. Right, let's take this baby out for a spin and see what else it can do. So like you saw, I did get the 40 millimeter pink gold version, mostly because one, it's smaller, so my tiny wrists probably work better with the smaller watches. And two, it's the only style that has a pink gold version. There's also a black and a silver, but in the 44 millimeter version of the Galaxy Watch 4, you get the black and the silver and a green option, no pink option. And the bigger Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, which only comes in a 42 and a 46 millimeter configuration, only come in black and silver. I mean, if you guys know me, you'd know that this was the obvious choice. Josh, on the other hand, got a 42 millimeter Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. He's repping the black one right now. I did get the yellow strap here just to give the watch a different look, but I also got the silver edition as well. And I'll have a video on his channel soon. Check it out. And comparing the two, while I was contemplating getting the classic as well because of that classic bezel look, I feel like I made the right choice because I am loving the no bezel situation, especially since I still get the rotating bezel functionality. The screen on this thing is bright and responsive and it feels bigger because again, no bezel. More importantly though, it doesn't feel awkward on my wrist. I feel like it's just the right size. Now let me tell you, one of my favorite things on this watch, as silly as it may seem, are the Bitmoji watch faces. Again, this was a cute little thing that I loved having on my Fitbit wearables and now they're on the Samsung watches. And speaking of, one of the big things about these Galaxy Watch 4s are that they're the very first watches with one UI and Wear OS by Samsung and Google. That means you have Google apps on this thing like Google Maps or Google Keep. And most importantly, the Google App Store, which also means you can put in third-party apps like Telegram. But then you also have Galaxy services like Samsung Pay or SmartThings. Pretty useful and handy things to have on your wrist. This thing has 16 gig of memory, gestures, Samsung claims 40 hours of battery life, and one of my favorite features on smart wearables, remote selfie features. It also connects to your phone to give you notifications, track your steps, heart rate, exercise, even your blood oxygen levels. And what's pretty cool is that this watch can calculate your body composition. It's a curious little process. You put two fingers on the two buttons and wait as the watch detects stuff from your body. It's a quick 15 seconds and then you have the calculations. There's also an ECG sensor on here, though that comes with many warnings on what this can or can't do. And again, all these health features are not really to be done in lieu of actual medical advice or medical help. But yeah, again, all of these things, pretty cool to see on a smartwatch. Right, that was our first look at the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Of course, this is just our initial impressions on this wearable. I will be spending more time with this watch to see what it can do and just how well it fares in everyday real life scenario, aka living with this thing on my wrist. Let me know what you guys want to know about this watch. Comment down below. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time!